Hey guys, I wanted to put out another video about my flight training. However, the weather's been really lousy and I haven't been able to fly. So we'll go through the pre-flight and we'll see how well I'm doing considering that I'm very new to this. So to start off, I've got my checklist and I'm going ahead and turning on the masters, turning on all the lights, and I'm going to begin my walk around. Um, I'm also putting the flaps all the way down. So I'm taking an initial look at the aircraft. I'm looking at all the lights on the outside. Taking a look at the beacon, the nav lights. As I'm doing this, I'm also checking to see that we have all of our antennas. and checking the pedo heat as well, although it's not really necessary because it's really hot outside. Um, I let it run for a few seconds and then kill the masters. Go ahead and sump it. So now I've grabbed my sump and my fuel test stick, and I'm looking for any kind of water or contaminants in the fuel. You want to see that it's a nice consistent shade of blue and at the same time I'm going to see how much fuel we have in the tank that is a full tank Fantastic. and yeah it's full so I can I can visually see that it's right at the top so I don't need to stick the test stick in there checking the pedo heat okay. checking vents to make sure they're free and clear checking the fuel tank vent looking at the leading edge and giving the wing a shake to make sure it is structurally sound. Now I'm looking at the left aileron, making sure I've got counterweights. We've got piano hinges. We've got four nuts on each piano hinge, making sure that the push rod is able to move. It's not jammed. Now I'm uh, tugging on the left flap to make sure it is firmly attached, looking at the tracks that it sits on, making sure that the, the guides are in the correct place, and again, checking the push rod. I'm looking to make sure the tow bar is in place and there's nothing else in the cargo compartment. Checking to make sure we don't have any kind of weird damage to the control surface there. And as I'm walking around, I'm making sure I'm taking a look at the body of the plane, making sure we don't have any anomalies, any rivets that are coming loose. Yep, 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 yep. Although with this older plane, there are some things that have been approved by the mechanics. So I'm aware of those, but I'm also taking a look at them, making sure the connection points for the elevator is good. Now I'm checking the cables that attach to the elevator, making sure they have firm attachment, that I can see the cable through the, uh, I guess the lock bearing that's on the back of the cable. Giving the rudder a little bit of movement, making sure it's firmly attached and that the cables are still attached. And then checking for the connection points. And we've got connection, connection, connection. Same thing with this elevator, checking connections, counterweight, making sure that the hinge on the trim tab is intact. And again, just another sweep down the body, making sure there's nothing weird. And now I'm doing the same thing with the right flap, giving it a little jostle, making sure it's firm, making sure the tracks are right. and checking the right aileron. 
Again, making sure that I have piano hinges, four nuts per hinge. Checking the push rod. And the counterweights. Again, I'm giving the wing a little shake, making sure it's firmly attached. Looking down the leading edge, making sure there's no damage. Checking the vents, make sure that there's no obstructions. And at this point, I've realized I'm checking the tire on the right side, but in my flow, I have uh, missed the left tire, so I'm going to have to get that on the way back around. And with this particular plane, there's a, a couple of drill points where uh, some cracks have formed on one of the cowlings for the landing gear, and we're aware of that, and maintenance has approved it. And this is where I'm messing my flow up. I was like, ah, I'm going to check the oil. No, 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 no. I'm going to sump the fuel first. All right, fuel is looking good. Okay. And again, that I'm going to look at the fuel. We are full. And it is slap full all the way to the top. And uh, off to my left, I can see that there's weather coming in, so that's going to end up canceling my flight. While I'm up here, I'm taking a look at the top of the plane, seeing if there's anything that's unusual, anything that uh, is concerning. And I do notice that there's a dent in the wing. Hmm. <laughs> I'll She's bring that up with my flight instructor. All right. So now I'm going to check the oil, make sure we have plenty in there. And my hands are full, so I'm going to reposition here. It looks a little high. There's about five and a half quarts. Yeah, like five and a half quarts. So that's, that's about right. Um, it could be a little bit more full, but that, that's not, it's not to the point where I need to go tell. Uh, the office that I need another quart of fuel, uh, oil. Okay, so at this point I'm gonna take a look at the uh, the front tire there, the front wheel, make sure there's deflection on the strut. And I guess I skipped over this, but I did stick my hand in the cowling and check the belt to make sure that the belt for the alternator has enough tension, it's not too loose, not too tight. Okay. Come back around. And now I'm going to look at the left tire because I skipped it. Rookie mistake. And I forgot to mention, I also was taking a glance at the static port as I walked around and uh, it was free and clear. Yep, 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 yep. Checking the paperwork here. So we've got airworthiness, we've got registration, and they are making sure the registration is, is valid, right, making sure that it uh, airworthiness is accurate for the plane. And now I'm gonna check my hobs and my tack time. Good. That looks good. All right. So now I do the tie downs. It's not on the checklist, but I go ahead and set the parking brake while I'm doing the tie uh, untying the plane, just to make sure that uh, it's not going to go anywhere. The, the plane still has a chalk on it, so 
it's not a huge concern, but uh, at the same time, we we don't want uh, something picking the plane up and moving in on me. I've got the authorities walking up to me. They're uh, oh, okay. a member of the maintenance team. He's informing me that some new seatbelts were installed on this particular aircraft, and he needs to make sure that uh, that they were installed correctly. Uh, and this reminds me, something else you didn't see me do because uh, of the camera angle, but I also uh, yeah, gave important. the exhaust pipe a, a firm shake just to make sure that it's firmly attached and it's not uh, rusting or you know, loose or anything like that. So yeah, we're looking at those new seat belts. They're, they're nice. Right, yeah, yeah. Cool. Thank you, sir. So yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much it for this. Um, you know, again, it's a, I'm, I'm a very new pilot. So there are things that I'm figuring out as I go along. One of the things that I did, I did not turn off any of the lights uh, after I killed the master, so uh, I learned that later. But, uh, you know, future me will remember, turn off those lights. The uh, tanks are completely full. Yeah, my CFI is there. He's making sure that, uh, just oh. double-checking everything I, I did. There's a little dent on the wing and then I point here. out I that dent that I saw earlier, like so he's going to check it out. Top wing between the uh, flap and the aileron. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he gives it a pass. That's uh, obviously been treated. It's been sealed up. Uh, maintenance has had a look at it. So, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see how uh, how much I improve over the uh, the next few flights.